Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! We do have a combination of very strong teams on the Blue Alliance. Jack in the Bot currently ranked first, Smartronics ranked seventh, and Sonic Squirrels ranked sixth. Let's see how they've coordinated their autonomous, all of them with strong autonomous periods. It looks like they've allowed Jack in the Bot to fully run theirs. They were able to end up with nine power cells through the port for the Blue Alliance at the end of Autonomous. So the Blue Alliance has activated stage one of their shield generator, that first blue light already lit up in the center of the field. Jack in the Bot is back toward the loading zone for the Blue Alliance. Their partner, Sonic Squirrels, behind them. It looks like Sonic Squirrels sticking around just a moment longer to play a touch of defense. Jack in the Bot and Sonic Squirrels work around each other as they run underneath the trench, both protected from any further defense as they do so. Sonic Squirrel's turret manipulator now getting some good use. They're facing defense from Rain Robotics, but because they're in that trench, they back up. Now they push Rain out of the way so that their partner, Jack in the Bot, can launch three more power cells successfully into the outer port. The Red Alliance is working as hard as they can to keep up only two power cells separating them from a activation of stage one for their shield generator in the center of the field. The Blue Alliance only seven power cells short of reaching capacity for level two. Spartronics of the Blue Alliance playing a little bit more defensively, allowing Jack and the Bot and Sonic Squirrels to focus on their offense. Spartronics collides up against Rain Robotics in red. Rain Robotics just one power cell in their manipulator, but that power cell could be worth up to three points for the Red Alliance. Six seconds until endgame, the Blue Alliance appears to have met capacity for stage two of their shield generator control panel is now in play for the Blue Alliance, but it looks like the focus may be on the end game portion. We have not seen any of our robots here today attempt to manipulate that control panel. Sonic Squirrels in blue, they are going to go up and try to hang right in the center as we have seen them do before, but Titan Robotics Club is not going to walk away empty-handed. They want to hang for the Red Alliance as well. We are down to our final three two, one, and that is the end of a remarkable qualification match number 46. Three by the Blue Alliance. 156 points for the Blue Alliance, 39 for Red, two ranking points going home for those Blue Alliance teams and no adjustments in their ranking.